No team has won more Stanley Cups than the Canadians. Under all those title banners, the Habs are on home ice here in Montreal. Hi, everybody. Along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your best players only wind up playing a third of the time, but boy, do they ever make a contribution. And that's why the other two-thirds, Doc, have to be important. Team game, hockey, that's exactly what it's all about. But when you have star players, those are the guys that get the meat of the minutes, the most important minutes in order to allow you to win hockey games. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Carey Price gets the start. Trophies, Vezina, Jennings, Hart, Ted Lindsay Award, Calder Cup, Olympic gold, missing the old one with all of his teammates' names on it. That's all that's left. Martin Jones won a Stanley Cup as a backup in Los Angeles in 2014. Started the San Jose Sharks to the final two years later. Big Joe Thornton's on the ice as we get ready for the opening draw. No surprise as he's played over 1,200 games at the NHL level, almost always in the starting lineup. Shoots. Got in the way of that one. A covered whistle blown. Play is stopped, so let's hear from our man at the ice, Ray Ferraro. There's something special about playing in Montreal. When you look across the red line, see their jerseys, look at the banners that go from end to end in their building. Okay, Ray, thank you. The Canadians control the play in the defensive zone. Shunko's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. Steps across that line. Made that stop. Looking to Gallagher. Oh, what a hit that one was. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Save there. Goaltender pass. Brought ahead. Price decided to cover. There's a good look at Joe Pavelski. 5'11", 190 pounds. This is the type of player you win with. He's a winner at every level he's ever played at. He can score. He can pass. He can win face-offs. Very reliable in any situation you want to play him. The Sharks win it. Save! Boy, he really had to battle through to see that screenshot. And he is shooting. He saw it coming and he got in the way. The shot blocked. A point blast. Great save. Passing one off now to Kane. Pitching it to Pavelski. He is able to move on in. And a save. Montreal's in their own end and has possession. It's just him. He scores! Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Montreal's collected another victory on the faceoff. Good job off that left wing and a perfect pass. Time of the goal. Seven minutes, 52 seconds. Slides it to the point. He hit the crossbar. Oh, close call there. It ricochets out of play off the crossbar. The shooter's not often aiming the puck. He wants to get rid of it as quickly as he can. This was a beautiful relief, but it clanged off the crossbar. San Jose's got a face-off win. The Sharks skated up on the side. Good save there. To Tatar. Vlasic's not strictly a finesse player. He uses the body to his advantage quite frequently. A hit that can make you mad. Better tighten up the brain bucket. Not afraid to get physical here tonight. Slid to Deneau. 
The Canadians are at the wing in neutral ice. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. Takes his pass from the goalie. The Sharks have it along the side at mid-ice. Say, snapping a pass to Gallagher. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. Price was locked in the whole way down the ice here, even though it was a man advantage break. It wasn't a very difficult save. A little under five minutes remaining in the first. The Canadians lead 1-0. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Brister may not have intended it, but it hit it. Leads that charge into the zone. And now it's directed to Gallagher. Penalty signaled, but play continues. And now we'll get the penalty call. San Jose is getting a minor penalty, and the call is boarding. As you see the player facing the board, you cannot make contact with that player while he has no chance to protect himself. Two minutes for boarding. The Canadians are getting their first power play crack of the game. Always important to win the special teams battle, or at the very least, Same come out even. Number 88, Brent Burrow. Heaps one. A good stick stop. Trying to go to Don's goal. Carries it on in from center. Good place to shoot from. Scores! While short-handed. The penalty killers have breathed new life into this game. Down a goal. They're trying to hang on by killing this penalty. They get an advantage, and they're able to cash in. The Sharks with a win at center. Scooped up by Vlasic. Dogged determination there by Petrie. It's an onside play. Got that pass in his own end. Uses his stick and strips him of the puck. Puck picked up by Braun. One minute left. They will get a breather shortly, but what'll happen next? Carried through the middle. Gives it to the point. The Canadians needed something from their power play and didn't get it. Very little power as he glides back to the bench after being on the receiving end of that hit. Oh, I think we're going to see the trainer here. He went down hard after receiving that heavy hit. Twenty minutes have been recorded. Both teams have scored just once. A little bit of a tight contest here as we're getting ready for period two. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the rink with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. The Sharks collected the last goal of the period and it succeeded in tying the game. Here it is again. We'll have more in a moment. Hurry as supplies are limited. Period two has begun. Both teams with the same number of goals. Propelled to Drew in. Turn to shot on net. And a save. San Jose is continuing on up the wing. Oh, broke it up. Puck is thrown to Domi. Using the point. What a ripper! Great stick save. From the slaughter wrister. Great poke check.
great opportunity from point blank. The goaltender makes a good stop here with the stick as he deflects this out of the scoring area. Just over five minutes play. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. San Jose's prevailed on another faceoff. Directing that one to Couture. Driving in from no man's land. Goes back deep for it. The Sharks with a neutral zone possession along the way. He caught it and he holds on. Clean win on the draw. Looks ahead to start something. Pitching this one to Carlson. Gains the zone. Shoots. Score! Two in a row. Always dangerous once you break a tie that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. San Jose's up by one now, and that is not a surprise. Neutral zone face off one. Possession established here. By number six. Terrific fake out. Took that wrist shot. Pump checked away. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. At least he protected his goaltender. The Canadians have control of the puck through the neutral zone. I'd like to say that I think this game is going to open up and there's going to be all kinds of chances all over the place, but both teams have really adopted a never-give-an-inch style of play. I think this is tight checking right down to the final horn. The Sharks have the puck at center ice. Quick shot. Got his stick on it. Score! A great bounce. The celebration looked like it glanced off the enemy in front. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. The Sharks have built a two-goal lead now. Perhaps on this faceoff, they can make it three before the end of the second period, at least. It's a faceoff win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Assisted by number 65, Eric Carlson. Nice pass right up the gut. Time of the goal. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. Airborne to Domi. Strong wrister. Save. Thornton's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Drew Ann's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. The Sharks get their first power play opportunity of this contest. Let's see if they can make good on it. The power play's excited to get out there. Those guys just about scrambled onto the ice as they get their initial chance of this game. So on this power play, they will resume from their own end of the ice. Let's it go. Got the save there. Solid work there by Joe Pavelski. And he shoots one. That puck hit him on the way to the net. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. The Canadians get two for delay of game. Well, all he was trying to do, Doc, was shoot it off the glass and get it out of the zone. Unfortunately, it went into the crowd. 
a five on three power play. It may seem like a sure goal, but sure things are never sure in hockey. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. Unfortunately for the puck carrier here, Doc, he skated right into this massive collision. The Canadians with a face-off win. Outstanding job done at the blue line to hold the pressure on. Trying to clear it here. A big collision there. Well, he got hit so hard, it looks like his shoulders touched each other. That one's going to leave a mark. The Canadians shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. San Jose is setting up an offense from the wing. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Smart recovery by Eric Carlson. The Sharks' long power play is over. They got Nada and a save. That's really demoralizing after a while when you do just everything right and can't find a way to score. But they got to do their best not to be discouraged. I, I liked a lot about that power play. Look for our food donation boxes located throughout the concourse. Pavelski's goal advanced this for his team from a one-goal lead to a two as we had to break. Forty minutes have been played. They are getting ready for the third period here. So take us back through the game. What do you think, Eddie? Montreal's coaching staff, Doc, has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. What a tremendous hit. Tries to get it on net and a save. On to Drew in. Moving it to Tatar. A shot. Save there. What an athletic save. Pass attempt to Pavelski. Can start the attack going in the zone. Loose pop knocked away by Pavelski. Block that one. Looking to Tatar. And he steps in. Breakaway. He scores. Right from the top iron. Nemish wrist shot was heavy and quick. Jones thinks he's got the net covered here, but there's just a little bit of room up over his shoulder. This hits the crossbar and goes in. The Canadians strike back. They've scored here, cut the lead in half in a dramatic third period. They're only trailing by one. Montreal goal scored by number 24. He can start some danger here. But ricocheted off the screen. Time of the goal. Montreal's along the wing at center ice. It's dumped in. Carlson's headed to neutral ice. And at an angle to Alsner. Got his pad on a changing shot. A little under nine minutes gone. And we turn to page 32 of the broadcaster's handbook. The next goal could be a big goal. Fox loose, the roadblock got in the way. The Sharks waiting back in their own end. And he gains the zone. Not tested too much, made the save. Good job on the draw. Montreal's up the wing, controlling play now. And he dumps it in. 
San Jose's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Made that work for him in goal. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. Passing one off now to Deneau. Gives it on a cross from the point. Pat it away. The Sharks skated up on the side. And he shoots. Wonderful save. Skilled play by Joe Pavelski. Took that away in his own zone. And angled to Gallagher. Oh, and he is corked yet again. On the outside, a shot. Made the save. The Sharks controlling play now in their own end. Gains the zone. Did what he's made to do. Pitching it to Drew in. Picks it up in his own end. Collected by Thornton. San Jose is in control as they travel up the wing. Save! Snapping a pass to Drew in. And in flight over the line. We're in the 60th minute out of 60, or will there be more? And he is shooting. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. The Canadians, through the neutral zone, have it. Things are heating up with that hit. There's a phrase in hockey, hit or be hit. That's exactly what happened. I'm not so sure this is a very good gamble here. He shoots for the empty net from his own side of center ice. He could have banked this off the glass or made a pass and try and work the puck up the ice. Now the faceoff comes back to his end. Centermen practice this so many times at the end of their game day workouts. And here comes the biggest one, perhaps, of the whole season. Tremendous hit. Clears the zone. That's the only play he had there, Doc, is to get it out of his own zone. He had the puck with enough time, but he took a gamble on the empty net from his own side of center. He missed it, and now the icing call is made, and the faceoff will come all the way back down to his end. A huge face-off win there. Snaps one. Perfect tip by the stick. Nice work by Petrie. Shoots one. Gloved. Only nine left. Six remaining. Hangs on to it. To Drew Ann. Score! And this one is off. trouble getting them out of the net. Eventually they get the goalie out, they get an extra man on the ice, and they eventually score. And they take that neutral zone face off. A big collision in the middle of the ice. After that hit there, Doc, we better tighten up our chin straps. 60 minutes solved nothing. They will dig down for more adrenaline because overtime is next. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area. The Canadians, on the strength of this play, have brought a tie into extra time. Overtime is after this. You like overtime, or do you like shootouts? You might get your wish on one. You definitely do on the other, because we're underway in OT. And now it's directed to Thornton. Laid on to Burns. Oh, what a stop. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Right along the blue line. Wonderful block. Gathered up again by Petrie. Into the end of attack. That is up close and personal. In 
Is this it? Terrific determination. For the win! Score! The overtime winner! And the players spill over the boards to celebrate. No greater feeling in sports. Exhausted but victorious. And this time in overtime. Thornton's anticipation allowed him to get that puck on the backhand and put it in the net. Price tries to cover the bottom part of the net, but he doesn't do a good enough job, and this beats him on the low stick side. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.